Hey everybody and welcome back to the Self Love Series. On this episode, I have my younger sister, Seppa. Hi guys. And today we are talking about makeup and insecurities um, as we put on our everyday, like easy, natural look. So I hope you enjoy it and subscribe if you aren't already. Okay, so what are you gonna start with? My glow serum. So Seppa's glow serum, well first I'm just starting, cause I already had that on from this morning, with primer, um, Laura Mercier foundation primer. Seppa's glow serum is one that I just make and it's made with jojoba oil and then some essential oils like frankincense, lavender, and I honestly forget the third. Oh, and turmeric. I so, feel like it just smells like frankincense. Yeah, frankincense is super strong. But that's what I moisturize with every day. And I mean, I don't sell it because I'm not like a skin expert. And... They say essential oils are like too harsh for your skin, but it's worked great for me ever since I started using it. Same. And it's worked for Seppa and my younger sister Lexi, but not for my sister Soraya. So not for everyone. Okay. I feel like it uh, moisturizes my skin a lot better than lotion. Me too. Like I feel like it seeps in better. Okay. Uh, while I let that set in, I go in with my brows. And I'm going to just be honest in doing it in the order that I really do it. Seppa is really good at makeup and does makeup. Um, and I am newer to makeup. I've only done it for about like a year on myself. <laughs> so no, like maybe a year or two. I don't know. So anyways, I'm just going to start now with my foundation and I've just been using recently, um, mascara and yeah. Uh, for my eyebrows, I'm using the color pop brow boss. So when you do this, do I just like dab in it? Yeah. And I count like maybe like six dabs. Okay, so we are gonna start in between telling what we're using. We're just gonna get in. I've never used a brush on my own, <laughs> so. Yeah, and you can spread it out. Like, it spreads okay. really good. Um, We're just gonna start doing questions as well. So we're gonna start with the rapid fire round. For those of you that can't tell or don't know her already, Seppa is fully pregnant. She's going to be having her baby in like two days, two or three days. Um, so, so if I make weird facial expressions, it's cause I'm feeling something. Um, so I'm just going to ask you a few rapid fire questions. So just quick answers of whatever comes to your mind. So first thing is your pregnant cravings um the ones that are like weird uh that i never really liked before uh doc uh, doctor diet coke um raspberry filled donuts Gross. which i hate yeah. but this pregnancy is like i love them and i make mahanrae get them for me when he gets off work and um Bethel's or chalupas from Taco Bell. What kind of chalupas? Chicken with sour cream. Do you get chicken supreme or is that what all of chalupas are? Or is 
I think they're all just chalupas with tomatoes and lettuce, and you could add sour cream. Oh, okay. Um, and what has d- disgusted you since being pregnant? Um, in the beginning, everything. Like, I remember sitting at Sunday dinners, and I felt bad because, like, the food mom made just, like, made me feel so sick. But I would just try to eat it. Um, but yeah, pretty much everything in the beginning. Um, and I only would really like to eat, have smoothies, which I'm not a big vegetable or fruit person, but that's what my, what I liked. Um, that's pretty much it. Nothing really recently that I could think of. Well, that's good, but Seppa literally hasn't gained any weight being pregnant. She just looks so skinny, and it's so annoying. Thank you. But um, self-love anthem. What would be your top self-love anthem right now? Um, This is me from The Greatest Show. Oh, my gosh, yes. I literally cry (laughs) every time I listen to that song. Yeah. Especially if I'm doing cardio. Oh my gosh. Um, Yeah, I love, I love that song. And I love playing that whole soundtrack for Kalea because I just think it's so empowering and all about self-love. Agree. Love the greatest showman. So I'm now going in with my mascara makeup as well. And it's, everything is in one compact. Um, and I forget that you tell me with this specifically to not put, Ooh, you look good. to not put it where you put the other stuff. I forget. I'm still learning because yeah. it's a new thing. Yeah. So the whole point of it is to, um, only have one layer, um, of makeup rather than having like foundation over your whole face. And then you add on bronzer and then on top of that. Like, you have concealer. So it's supposed to just be one even layer. And Seb's doing hers with a brush. I applied mine with a brush, but it feels weird to me because I I never apply mine with a brush. So I applied mine, but then I'm, I'm just going through with a wet... Yeah, it looks really good. ...sponge to, like, help it. Um, I like my... Because I went so long with like never wearing makeup I like like my coverage and my makeup to look as like natural and light as possible yeah so anyways okay um so back to rapid fire step of what is well there's no such thing with rapid fire with you because you never have short answers I know, sorry. <laughs> what is something that you love about yourself uh one thing I love about me is um the way that I love people, like if I love someone or something, like I'll give everything that I have to it. Um, at least I think I do. Like whether it's a calling or like my sisters or whatever. Um, if I have the means to help or give what I have, I will. You do for sure. Service is, acts of service is definitely your love language, I think. Really? I always wondered what my love language was. I think that's how you show it, is through acts of service. Because you go above and beyond. Seb is a great in-law. She just, above and beyond. Um, And then, what is your number one beauty item? Wait, what, sorry, first, what, what do I apply my... What brush would I do? My concealer? All the same brush. Bronzer, okay. Are you done with it? Yeah, why is my skin so dry? So if you had to pick one item that you could only use, um, like makeup, beauty-wise, what would it be? Um, I know Cass won't believe this, but probably Vaseline or lip gloss. <laughs> oh my gosh, I knew you were going to say that. Um, or my mascara makeup, honestly, because some days when I feel like I'm looking like crap, especially being pregnant, 
I'll literally just pull my compact out and just put this on my face and I don't need anything else and I feel fine. Either. That's true. When it comes to this, it's convenient because it's all in one. That's why I wanted to get it. Yeah. Um, so Seppa got it for me for my birthday. But I feel like that's kind of cheating. So if you had to choose one, Vaseline would be it. Yeah. Which I agree the same for me. Like I, I truly at 30 years old don't understand yet how people can walk around with dry lips. I mean, some days I do. <laughs> <laughs> No excuses. Being pregnant, my lips have been so dry. No excuse. <laughs> it makes me cringe so bad. And let's not even talk about if they're cracked <laughs> and bleeding. That's and you're talking to me. And unacceptable. <laughs> Make sure to go in your inner corner. Oh. Yeah. Um. <laughs> okay. So... Could you talk about what made you start getting in to makeup? Um, I think I've always loved makeup. Like I remember when I was little um, and mom would get like those little lipstick samples in the mail. Like she would always give them to me and I thought it was so cool having little like lipstick samples. Um... And then I remember, I think you got some makeup when you were in high school and I would sneak in the bathroom and try it on. Um, then in high school, when I was in high school, um, Blanca would always put on makeup after swimming class that we had. And like, I always just loved watching her do it. And so... I don't even know what it was, but one night I found a makeup tutorial on YouTube and I just started watching the the tutorials on YouTube and learning how to do it. Um, and I remember telling mom, like, I want to go to cosmetology school. And she was like, that's not a career for the last days. Of course. Like, you can't, people aren't going to always need that. So I just learned on YouTube and then um, like my sisters for dances would ask me to do it for them um, and like friends that were getting married. And so, yeah, it's just been that way since. Um, do you feel like because I've, I know this looks terrifying right now, <laughs> but. <laughs> I'm putting it on and then I'm going to blend it out. <laughs> um, <laughs> but because I think like for myself included, um, because I never was like a makeup person previously, I think a lot of people like naively think that people like use makeup, um, when they like are insecure yeah. or it's like something to like cover up insecurities. Um, and so I, I mean, after me starting to use it, which was more so like when I was around 28 ish of like really using it. Cause before, like when I started working like a serious job at like 18 or 19, I remember my manager at the time telling me because I never wore makeup. Like, Seppa started young, but and it always looked good on her. But I was the type, like, in high school and stuff, when I would have my makeup done for dances, like, I felt like I looked crazy. Like, I always felt like Cleopatra. <laughs> um, the Egyptian, when I would try to have, like, eyeliner on for dances or something, like, it just, I didn't feel, like, my confident best self Use wearing makeup. Um... But then as I got like older and I just, I just sponged my dang earring um, and started like using it and playing around with it because I was curious. I think I just like screwed myself up. <laughs> Which one did you say to use? That one. Um, I realized that it was something just to like enhance yeah. your beauty rather than like try to hide flaws or anything 
And so, I mean, what do you think? What is makeup to you? And has it always been that way? Like what, from when you were younger, do you feel like you used it kind of to cover any insecurities? Um, I feel like when I first started getting into makeup was when I was a little more insecure with myself. Um, like for example, my freckles, I haven't always loved my freckles. And so I would kind of put it on to, um, try to cover my freckles or, um, like, yeah, just like cover it up. Or I always thought like, oh my gosh, I have acne scars, so I need to cover them up. Um, but I think just like, um, kind of, I don't know. I kind of just had this realization that like, none of that's going to go away. Like my freckles are there to stay. Um, my acne scars honestly weren't, aren't even that bad. Um, and so like, just embrace it. And then just like, um, a lot of things that I went through personally and just kind of my own little self-love journey. I just kind of accepted everything that I thought was flaws or, and I had insecurities about. And now I love when my freckles show like through my makeup, I don't try to like cover it up or all that stuff. I just let it show and I actually prefer my makeup that way. So it has changed like why I love makeup and why I wear makeup. It's not to hide anything, but it's more of just like an escape for me now. Yeah. If I'm like in a mood, sad or mad or whatever, like I will just pull out all my makeup and do a full face and then I feel great about myself. Um, and yeah, I love that. Um, do you feel like it, I was able to blend it in? Yeah. I can't even see the sunlight. No, yeah, your skin looks really good. Um, maybe. Yeah, I feel like you could see every hair on my, every hair on my face. Um, yeah, I don't think, don't be afraid to be a little, I mean, it sounds bad to say rough with your skin because in makeup you're taught to be gentle with your skin, but. To blend it out. Don't, don't go over my this. mole. Well, it's Just not like it's going to hide. <laughs> um, I feel like oh, for me, like when my self-love journey started, like I said, from probably like 19 to like, or probably, no, like 18 to 26, which was when I like really started being intentional about my self-love journey. Um when I did wear makeup to work or out and about to like feel better, my extent was eyeliner and mascara. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes if I felt wild, some eyeshadow, but I didn't know how to like apply anything, whatever. But then, um, when I started, like when I was 26, I felt at that time I was at my heaviest weight and I felt like then I was like relying on wearing mascara or eyeliner to like feel prettier. And I recognized that yeah. like if I wasn't wearing it, like I just didn't feel good when I like looked in the mirror unless I was wearing those things. And so when I committed to like really being an intentional about my self-love journey, I went a year without wearing anything. Like I told myself that's going to be my first step. Yeah. I don't know how to start a self-love journey. I, I felt like there wasn't as many resources about it back then, just a few years ago than there is now. But that was like the first thing I told myself, like I'm relying on this to be pretty. So I'm going to stop using it for a full year and get used to seeing my normal face that like everyone sees. And I'm like so hard on myself on how I look, but that's my face that I loved like my whole freaking life prior to ever using yeah. it. Like I went so long without feeling I needed it. And then when I realized I was relying on it, I stopped using it. And then when I started to get into it because Seppa was really into it and she had started like doing it for a living of doing makeup. And just every time I saw her, like I just felt like her makeup was just like I said, enhancing what she already had, like her traits that I thought were like beautiful. And she always just looked put together and confident 
And I was in the place where I felt like I didn't need it makeup, but I wanted to just learn it. Like I felt like, okay, you're in your older twenties, you're old enough to like know how to put yourself together. If you wanted to do a, like a full face of foundation, all of that. And so from there, like I just started watching YouTube for the first time of makeup things. Seppa would help me buy just makeup from the drugstore. Like I've never bought expensive stuff. And like now it is something that I wear it sparingly, but I just do it. I mean, like what Seppa said, I know it's something that's like an automatic pick me up when I do it. And mm -hmm. I feel like I'm definitely like more productive and confident in whatever I'm doing that day yeah. when I do wear it. Yeah. Um, and I haven't went over anything I've been using because it's literally all been in my mascara palette. So it has my foundation, concealer, bronzer, bronzer and blush, which I just finished doing all of that. Seb has just been breezing past. So what are, what are you using? Um, right now I'm setting everything. So like it's cream makeup, mascara makeup is cream makeup. Um, so you can just wear it on its own, but, um, I sometimes like to set everything. So I'm just going in with this elf blush and bronzer to like set where I put the bronzer mm -hmm. and then I always take it down my neck. Okay. So yeah. What are some insecurities maybe that you struggled with growing up and that you overcame and how you overcame it? Um, and if you have any now, um, so like I said earlier, um, I was always insecure of my freckles. Um, like I hated them. I remember Googling like how you remove them and they said like wash with lemons. So I would use lemons at home and they never went away. Um, and then I would try to cover with makeup. Another one um, is the bump on my nose. Um, and I think that was only an insecurity because people would always like point it out like girls uh -huh. would point it out. And so then I obviously like felt like something was wrong. Um, and my smile hasn't always been my favorite, but how I overcame them, my freckles, I just, well, with all of them, I just realized like it's never going to change without my bump on my nose. Like, I don't think I would be Seppa. Uh, without the smile that I have, like if I got braces, it would change the way my smile looks, like how people are used to seeing me. So it would take away from what makes me look like me and the freckles, like a lot. Of, and people started complimenting my freckles as I got older. And so then I was like, oh, like they're not anything, you know? Um, and then, yeah. So just realizing like nothing's going to nothing I can do unless I like pay to get surgery is going to take those things away. And I just need to like accept that that's me and just love the way that I look. Um, and yeah, so I just started like embracing it and, um, and then along that way I met Mahanrai and he would compliment me on those things. And so it just kind of made, kind of like reassured me like, okay, like it isn't, it's, it's, it's not, not ugly. Deal. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm making it a bigger deal than like other people do. And now you have people trying to like make freckles on their face. With it. Yeah. So one time it was my last girl's camp and me and several were in young women's together and we walked by this tent <laughs> of girls walking to ours and they were talking about me and seppa yeah. saying how seppa would be so much prettier if she didn't have a big nose <laughs> that it's like an eagle or that something I look like an eagle. so we would call her eagle gate college <laughs> Letha Luthiwi knows about that. Letha, shout out to you <laughs> for having our back. And then they also said mm -hmm. that I would be prettier if I didn't have moles on my face. Yeah. And like... rude. But <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> We're over it. But um, yeah, <laughs> so funny. But it definitely is. I honestly think that everyone with the insecurities that they have, I don't think that 
people think of them necessarily as much as we do. Like, yeah. obviously, those girls thought about our mole and our and your nose because my mole was always something like I've said before on my first episode that I was insecure about. Um, <clears throat> but for the most part, we think about them way more than anyone else does. Yeah. So, and yeah. God made you you. So, like. Love it. Period. Um, so I'm just finishing. I mean, I have pretty full eyebrows, so I usually don't feel like I need to fill them in unless I'm just trying to be like extra and fancy and I'll do the, this part. I don't even know what that's called, but, um, mascara, mascara that we always use is, um, what is this? Seppa? Uh, L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Great mascara. I used the ColourPop BFF one. Not my fave. Um, L'Oreal Lash Paradise is so much better. Oh my gosh, do you have a lip gloss? I don't yeah. have mine. Uh, I think it's the Bath and Body Works M menthol, whatever. Um, I think I'm done. So actually I could show you because I, we've talked about it before with using mascara. You can set your makeup, like your under eyes with it. So just go back in and blend it out and then just go in with powder. Wait, what are you talking about? If you want to set your under eyes so that they don't crease. Mm. So I'm just going to use this revolution banana baking powder, uh, just a little bit to take out the shine and hopefully not crease but you're gonna crease like I know we for anyone who watches YouTube and like the beauty gurus whatever influencers and see that their eyes look like they don't crease everyone dang creases you have creases under your eyes unless you're getting filler under there so if you're putting on makeup and you're like, why is it creasing? It's going to crease even if you set it and bake and all that stuff. Um, so I think like this is a more casual episode where we're just like having a conversation while doing just our everyday like simple makeup. But if someone's watching this, if I were to give a call to action, I think mine would just be to like... If you're interested in trying like a beauty item for the first time, because I know even like, especially a lot of Polynesian girls, like they don't need it. And so they don't use makeup often, but I know it's something they're interested in. So I think like, just try things out mm -hmm. and have fun. But again, just remember, like, it's not to mask yeah. any insecurities or flaws you think you have more so just to enhance the beauty that you already have and the features that you already have mm -hmm. so just to try it and to have fun and besides i mean this mascara one that we use our normal products we use typically all the time are from drugstore the drugstore so if you are interested but you don't know where to start or what to buy mm -hmm. then um Sipa can help you out you could find her her handle will be on here you could dm her of suggestions um We'll obviously include what we're using um, in the description on this video, but you can also just reach out to her, right? Yeah. And ask you. No, I've had she girls message me like what I would suggest, so. So other than that, I think that's it. We are finished. Um, and I hope you guys liked this and that you're able to try something else, something new out that makes you feel a little better and confident. Oh my gosh, I don't even have lip gloss on. One sec. Talking about chapped lips and she... Mine aren't because I feel that... Wow, you scroll so much out. Well, oh my God. it's dripping. You owe me $8. <laughs> Get over it. <laughs> Can you clean that? <laughs> Can you figure that out? Honestly, put the gist, put the lip on. Um... Anyways, hope you're able to try out a new beauty item that helps you feel more confident um, and good about yourself. And thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. And I hope your better self-love starts today.